Hey, 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 Reg review on uh, a truck that's far older than I am. <laughs> uh, how old is it? This is supposed to be a 49. It, it certainly looks like a 49 Chevy. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, it's a 3100 panel truck model. Uh, the body, I think, I think came from Parma from years ago. I found it in a bin in the attic. Really? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's an it's a interesting body. I haven't seen many of them, but uh, it, it it looks nice. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. So uh, this uh, my favorite part about this truck is that I didn't have to do hardly any wiring. Oh, right. It doesn't have many <laughs> lights, right? <laughs> Uh, I've only got one headlight, right? So that was kind of easy because that fender's it's uh, being replacement. redone, right? It's a new old stock replacement, no headlight bucket in it yet. And in the back, there's only a license plate light, and I checked that was authentic. So I said, "Hey, if it only has one light in the back, yay! I'll only put one light in the back." So why don't we uh, why don't we start from the start? Why, why did this become what it is? What was your inspiration? Uh, you know. How did you end up where you are right now? You know what happened is I had this body for so many years sitting okay. on a shelf. Yep. And it, I wasn't into sedan racing. The body width wasn't wide enough to actually cover over, uh, to me, a 10th scale sedan or anything like that. I couldn't figure out what to do with it. And uh, when I started building trucks with a new frame, the C-Max frame from GCM Racing, um, as soon as that kind of came off the CNC machines, I thought, you know what, I need to make a small wheelbase truck. And I had a pair of K44 axles kicking around, I have these, I had the small tires, the mini mag rims, and I thought, you know what, if, I, if I'm going to use this body on anything, this is the time to do it. So that's kind of how it happened, really. I mean, I have no real connection with a 49 Chevy panel truck, it just kind of happened. It's it's beautiful, um, and as you say, it's got this uh, this new offering from GCM, this uh, C Max uh, amazing uh, chassis setup. Again, you can see all the holes in it, um, which allows you to sort of be flexible when it comes to mounting anything, including uh, setting up wheelbase and so on and so forth. So yeah, really, really nice. So what are some of the highlights that you've done on this truck that you know you're sort of proud of and and uh, well, uh, I did a whole bunch of things new that I that I don't do. Okay. Uh, mm. I've never done weathering. Right. And this one got a whole bunch of weathering treatment. Um, some of it I did. I did the blue. I did the paint on the inside of the... It was Lexan, so I did the inside. I did the outside. Right. Uh, and then I kind of scuffed it up with some scotch bright to give it a little weathered look on the corners. And then my friend Tim, who's a, an incredible mm -hmm. airbrushing genius... Mm -hmm. Uh, he took it and did the little rust work on the corners and the wherever you need old rust on an old on an old panel truck and and that kind of sent it way over the edge for me. It's I really, really really well done. You can see he's even you know got yeah. the runs from the rust, right? It's incredible. Like his his rusty airbrushing that he did on this just sent it way over the top. Again, we talk about those finite scales uh, details. Yeah. That really sort of set off the truck, and, and this is definitely one of them. Really, really well done. <clears throat> yeah, it's really nice. The, the weathering that he added is really nice. I also did a full engine bay on this, which I never do on anything. Um, I kind of was challenged to, uh, to get to this level. Kind of it's your fault, actually. <laughs> because uh, you came over one day with your uh, Orange Crush Hilux, and you had the hood chopped off, and I was like, uh-oh, here mm -hmm. we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, next level is coming out of Dana's building bench here, that's for sure. So I thought it was my turn to step it up. And uh, so I ended up doing a full engine bay. Uh, I used a 3D printed V8 motor from the GCM Shapeways shop. Put the R4 transmission on it and the LRT transfer case. And, and I ended up with this. It's all, that that's the drive line that fits in the C-Max rail. That's it right there. So... Uh, you used the same thing in your Hilux I did. I uh, did. conversion, and so I used the same thing in the in this. It fits on the truck pretty nice, actually. You know, I was really impressed. Let's not forget this the, the, this motor mount. This is sort of the answer to it all. Is this motor mount that we offer uh, is really nice, and that sort of allows you to do 
this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, it was really handy. The the other thing that I think I'm kind of proud of is I put exhaust pipe on it all the way from the both of the headers over to a um, single muffler and then right out the back. And I think that's just like a really cool little detail. I think your muffler is, it, is it an axle? Um, yeah. And I then you put a, uh, nuts on the yeah. end of it? Yeah. I used an SCX-10 drive axle, the plastic axle part, and I put my exhaust pipe all the way through it, and then I jammed two wheel nuts on the outsides of it, and it turned into a muffler like it was so easy. <laughs> it was kind of that accidental pile of parts that turned into something nice. You know, it was neat. Um, I mean, you've, uh, again, it's, it's an unfortunate we can't really sort of dive right into all of the scale bits and attention to detail inside this panel truck, but... It looks like there's wood planks or wood grain inside it. There's a driver. There's a wooden dash. Uh, yeah. You've created door skins. You know, if, if you ever come up to the booth or you see us and you're around, have a look inside this truck because the scale is over the top, including the sort of half window that comes up or quarter window really nice touches uh and the more you look the more you see on this truck really really well done one thing i've noticed that's new for me in this progress is these bumpers are epic uh these these are sort of the final touch that you put on this tell yeah. me how you sort of came with and made these well these old trucks basically have one great big piece of ro rolled chrome in the front you know okay. they're, yep. they're, it's I think it's 100% utilitarian. Right. And if you ever see these turned into hot rods, they th usually throw the bumper in the garbage because the bumpers are terrible. Sure. They don't even look that good. And uh, I needed something on the front, something on the back, plus I needed the scale points on the Lexan body. So there you go. I just chopped a piece of sheet metal and started bending it. Really and it kind of turned into this. I wish I had one of those... Uh, wheel bearing roller things that you can crank and actually form the steel into that arch that the bumper sure. really needed but sure. i don't have one of those so it looks good uh it's okay there's even a nice little touch you know talking about the look at the logo tell me about the logo and and including the touch where the digits you know it's seven you know like back then in yeah, 1949 yeah. um how did you do that is that something you purchased is that a sticker what did you do there so uh I was struggling with how to do the logo for a really long time and I'm not an artist like I can't well he is an artist look at this thing <laughs> no it I, is I can't freehand something on paper to save my life so to end up with this what I had to do was I printed it out from a computer on a sticker okay and then I actually exacto knifed out all the letters and I created a template Oh. out of the printed sticker I stuck the sticker on the side of the truck and then I filled it in because it was a template perfect you know and then I switched the sticker over to the other side and perfect. the same sticker and I filled that in too so I was trying to find some kind of a theme you know I mm -hmm. knew what I wanted to do with the body mm -hmm. I wanted an old parts delivery kind of a truck look and uh, the stenciling actually gave me the opportunity to to put that finishing edge on it and uh, that's what really makes me happy that and then you the weathered lettering. it a bit right yeah yeah that was kind of easy sure. I, the whole truck is just really just i just keep sanding it off if something goes wrong with the body i just sand it off even further so with this once once i had this the uh silver on through the stenciling then i just started to kind of sand it down a little bit and dull it out and it turned into this old looking nice nice yeah uh, and of course, leaf all the way around, axles, what axles are we running? Those look like K44s? Yep, K44s. I put K44s on it, uh, leaf spring in the front and the back, and um, I used the R4 scale drivetrain in the front, and, and the 3D printed fenders front and back. Mm -hmm. I designed a set for the back as well that actually are kind of really low. This, ha this body has this super low flat kind of a fender top on it, so I only made, I made these little tiny long but really narrow inner fenders and it's it seems to be fitting all together pretty nice this, this thing is so small it is it's not very big when it's it got to be to, 12 scale or something you know when you look at small. the uh, the viteras out there and, and yeah. the blazers this this is a little bit more compact for sure it's a small tire uh it's a rock crusher rc four-wheel drive so it's a 3.7 diameter tire 
and it looks huge mm -hmm. on the truck because mm -hmm. the truck is so small. It's nice. And of course, it's got the beautiful set of rims on it uh, from GCM. Yeah, I really like these. That's the Mini Mag 10 hole. The 155s. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> really I well like done. I like those a lot. Yeah. It looks great. And Thank you. One other final detail. You made these, didn't you? These little hinges. <clears throat> yeah, they were fun. I went to every hobby store that sells dollhouse parts that I could possibly find. <laughs> and I traveled long and abroad trying to find sure. little tiny dollhouse hinges. And uh, after all that searching, I still didn't find any that I like. So I ended up making them out of brass. Uh, I didn't realize that you could make decent brass hinges in probably five minutes, but I can now. I, so I now I'm just going to make my own hinges. It's, Looks good. They're really cool. They were fun to make. They definitely looked apart. Yeah. For sure. Thanks. For sure. So, what uh, what are you doing with it this this sort of this season that's uh, fast approaching? <clears throat> well, the uh, the season is fast approaching. Is uh, <laughs> aside from having to build four more trucks for the comp season. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. I mean, I have no time to do that. I gave basically a couple hundred hours probably into this thing in the last, you know, few months. And so um, now I really just need to drive it. Um, it's class one legal. I pointed it today at 47 points. It's not really high on the points. There's no winch. There's no toe straps and all that stuff. It's just a little old truck. Okay. And uh, I hope to uh, get it on the trail really soon and uh, be able to just kind of enjoy it. I think it's kind of a neat looking thing. I never thought I'd have an old thing like that, but I kind of like it. And are you done? Is it 100% done for you? Or It's done. If I get the gusto to, to roll the bumpers into the rounded chrome, then I might actually try that at some point. But I think that's probably the only thing I'm going to do. It's really nice. I'm excited Thank to you. see this on the uh, on the trails for sure. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. This is my first uh, scale engine bay and all that too, you know, so I, I think there's a lot of firsts on this truck. You know, for those who are doing scale engine bays, we'd love to see, you know, send us your pictures, yeah. see what you're doing, tell us what you're doing. Uh, we've seen a few uh, in the last year or so and, and uh, you know, there's some really talented people out there doing this type of thing, and it seems as though it's the next thing. So, uh, yeah, please uh, send us a picture, give us some comments, uh, talk to us about this, because, again, this is somewhat new for us, for sure. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. I got a lot of my inspiration to uh, do the engine bay from you and from uh, Scale Builders Guild. Of course. Um, and there's guys on there that are handcrafting motors all the time, and it just seems like that's where we need to excel too as scale truck builders you know like i like having the reliability of the scx drivetrain or all that other stuff mm -hmm. but this new setup seems to be working really well for lots of people and it's reliable there's metal gears in the tranny you know like i mean it's i think it's a comp worthy thing to do now and so you might as well do an engine bay yeah uh we're gonna find out definitely this season uh yeah. how they perform but uh initial trial Seems as though, as as you were saying, yeah. especially in, in mine, uh, it seems to run quite well. I'm I'm happy with it. <clears throat> Our uh, team driver for GCM, uh, Rob, uh, he's been driving two of these scale drivetrain setups uh, already for a full comp season, and now into a new comp season, and he thinks they're just great. So, great. I think we can probably do pretty well with them. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I'm ready to uh, hit the trail with this soon. Okay. Well, uh, let's. Uh, Let's move forward, let's do this, and uh, let's have fun hitting the trails, because I think that's what's next. <clears throat> Tiny trucks. Tiny trucks. I, like, I don't know what you've done here, but there's a... I don't know if that's on purpose, or if it's just watermarks, but that's really cool. You mean uh, when I sprayed paint thinner on it by accident? Oh, well, I think it looks... <laughs> I think it looks good. <laughs> It's, it looks like watermarks. It's a good you thing know? it doesn't have to be shiny. Though. I know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's something wrong with the paint. If you can, if you could even see it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm really glad that it wasn't worse than that. Uh, the, the thinner that I sprayed by accident, I right. was trying to clean off my brush, and then I oh, realized and the was, body was right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. So now it's a good old rusty truck. Perfect. Perfect.